everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and this is part of our review of the PowerColor AMD Radeon HD7790 video card. And this is the part where I show you how to overclock this video card and also maybe demonstrate the fan noise uh, emitted by this Turbo Duo version of HD7790 from PowerColor. And uh, this is very simple and straightforward since, as you can see here, uh, you can use the Catalyst Control Center. Uh, when you install your, your AMD drivers, uh, it automatically includes this uh, portion. If you don't know where to access this one, uh, just look for, uh, let me just minimize everything here, and right click on your desktop, click the Catalyst Control Center, and it will bring up that uh, Catalyst Control Center uh, menu here. And it's under Performance, AMD Overdrive. And here you can access not just uh, monitor the activity, GPU clock, memory clock, power, temperature, and the fan speed of your video card. You can also, if you tick the enable graphics overdrive here at the bottom, it also allows you to overclock that. As you can see, the PowerColor HD7790 uh, Turbo Duo comes with a factory overclock of 1075 megahertz, 75 megahertz more than the uh, 1 gigahertz or 1000 megahertz of the reference design. Uh, while the memory is set at 1500 and uh, with this option allows you, to, uh, allows you to manually control the fan noise but it is very quiet even at maximum load it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, hitting the high numbers I'm going to I'm going to uh, go over that layer what the temperature was but I'm going to show you how to overclock it since it is quite simple all you need to do is of course once you open up the Catalyst Control Center is just slide the sliders uh, here to the right, you can even maximize it. As you can see there, I'm sliding it all the way to the right here, and you can uh, for additional power control settings, you can maximize that as well. Uh, the power control essentially gives you an allowance, uh, so uh, in terms of uh, power uh, provided, so that you can um, overclock without crashing. So just enough power delivered to the card, and it won't. Uh, it ensures that you have enough headroom to adjust your GPU clock and memory clock settings. Now, unlike other video cards, uh, the 7790 seems to be capped to 1200, 1600 here uh, on the BIOS. It is not restricted to power color cards, but it is uh, all 7790 video cards that, uh, that are designed by AMD. And uh, with this one, as you can see, I have uh, Unity in Heaven running constantly. I shouldn't be benchmarking that, just to kind of show you that uh, uh, this. Uh, this software here is very good for detecting errors, essentially, and uh, it will crash automatically, and your drivers will recover in case your uh, overclock was stable. Now, I can't, I cannot guarantee that all cards are created equal, and I can't guarantee that all cards will reach this 1200. But uh, as you can see, this card can handle that without a problem. A very good boost, even with just adjusting the memory from 1500 to 1600, you get a, a, a at least one frame advantage on. Uh, all your benchmarks already. Uh, even the 75 megahertz boost compared to reference design, as you saw with the benchmarks, were quite uh, g gave uh, a decent amount of boost already. So when you push it to 1200, uh, it it is uh, essentially a a a very good, essentially free uh, performance adjustment compared to the reference design, and it requires very little effort since the Catalyst Control Center is included with the AMD Radeon. Uh, drivers itself. Now, uh, PowerColor has their own uh, software, but unfortunately, it is. I, I believe it's not. It's in beta right now. I, I installed it, but it's not compatible with the. As you can see there, this is what the, the error I get for that uh, for the PowerColor program when I launched it. it. Is the Power Up Tuner program? It was. Uh, it was made available for the 7870 around that time. It was the last update was January, so uh, unfortunately, it's not updated yet. Uh, 47 to 790 overclocking, but for now you can do you can use the Catalyst Control Center to uh, do that adjustment. Now, as you can see there, the temperature uh, even when I'm benchmarking reaches 68. The room right now is actually hotter than my normal testing room since uh, uh, seasonably warm uh, here currently in Canada, and uh, I also have my uh, I'm not temperature controlling the room right now. And uh, the if you notice that the fan speed is only 34 percent even at full load while benchmarking this. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you listen to it right now, so if you can even hear it, because you couldn't tell the difference at all when, even when it was an idle and uh, when the fan speed was under load.
All right, as you can see, the, the fan speed now has climbed up slightly a bit, 35%, but you can also manually control that if you want it to, be, to cool down even better, but under 70 degrees is perfectly good for a video card like this one. Uh, let me just hit apply here so you can listen to what 50% fan speed sounds like. That is more the sound of a typical uh, blower style uh, cooler under load. Of course, uh, it never reaches 50% under load at all uh, compared to other video cards. Uh, the Turbo Duo fan uh, really does their job very well. Plus, the combination of the of the uh, single heat heat pipe, direct heat pipe uh, cooling design there is very efficient at uh, cooling the, the GPU. So it's uh, it's not really a problem at all. Even if you can just leave it at auto, uh, it's, it's admirable, really, even uh, my overclocking this one. Now, I'm not sure if AMD is going to be uh, unlocking their voltage control later on for the ALIO drive, uh, probably, if enough people demand it. Because right now, it looks like there is more than enough headroom for me to push it further beyond the 1200, 1600, as good as that may be. Uh, maybe they were they don't want it to kind of encroach on the 7850 levels of, uh, of performance because uh, even with this overclock it's not going to be touching the 7850 um, with the performance level although the 7850 one gigabyte has is going to be phased out soon so uh, we don't know you know uh, well, how it is all going to pan out if we're going to see uh, what it was going to happen if AMD is going to release a refresh of those but definitely the one gigabyte 7850s are going to be out of style, so it's going to be the 7790 from $150 price point all the way to the price point of the 7850, two gigabytes, which is around $220 currently right now. I don't, I don't, I have, I don't think AMD is going to drop the price for the two gigabyte 7850s currently, but as it stands, the 7790, uh, very good price for for this uh, era here is $150 uh, for most, and some overclock uh, uh, settings, uh, some overclocked. Uh, versions are available for only ten dollars more with the custom cooler uh, cooling solution. Well, anyway, as you can see there, it uh, it managed to finish the benchmark, not any issues, and that's uh, pretty much a guarantee that it will be stable at uh, any game you throw at it. Since uh, Unigine Heaven benchmark is essentially a very very stressful program uh, for DX11 testing compared to typical games. Uh, well, anyway, that's pretty much it. Just a this is just a quick uh, overclocking video showing you how to demonstrate it. Uh, although again, I cannot guarantee that your card might not be able to reach, you know, 1200 megahertz and 1600 megahertz or maximum slider here. Uh, but uh, from what I can tell, it definitely can uh, boost a little bit better than the 1075. Uh, I'm actually surprised that PowerColor and other uh, AIBs for uh, AMD partners uh, haven't just cranked up everything <laughs> to 1100 at least or 1200 uh, from the get-go. Uh, I believe the, there's uh, there's other video cards that offer with the higher memory settings uh, but as you can see I can just easily do that uh, not spend a whole lot of money just get a custom cooling solution and crack this up to, to beyond uh, the the levels of the more pricier 7790s at 1200 and 1600 it can pretty much achieve the same level of overclocks. Well, anyway, uh, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. You can click on the link below to finish the rest of the review. You can read my conclusion. And this is just, again, uh, just to remind you, this is part of a full review of the PowerColor HD 7790 Turbo Duo video card. And uh, you can click on the link below for the full review. You can leave questions or comments, and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. You can visit us at Facebook, facebook.com slash Reviews. Like our page, like this video for your support, and also tweet at us at twitter.com slash high tech legion. And uh, we are, if you join our one of those, you might be eligible for uh, some of our giveaways. We are currently holding a giveaway currently with, uh, with uh, Biostar, but uh, regularly, if you're watching this video at a later time when the, when the contest expired, you can still subscribe and see if uh, you're. Uh, and be eligible for a giveaway contest since we're always holding those in a regular basis. Well, once again, this is Ron, High Tech Legion, signing out.